I have uh, skimmed it. I've uh, gone over some of the key points. And I think this is an, appro uh, an appropriate place to uh, talk about it here because uh, we're in front of the uh, building that uh, had the Sky Palace in it, in it until I uh, put a stop to it uh, when I was Infrastructure Minister. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to the Auditor General for uh, doing a great job. I uh, agree with the recommendations of the report and I think government needs to uh, act on these uh, with all the speed that uh, all the speed possible. Does this, sh does this show that the, the government isn't fit to government? Well, you know, I, I think there is no surprise in the fact that we, we already knew uh, that the premiers and her office's use of those aircraft was, was highly inappropriate. Uh, that is why she's been paying money back on, uh, on those files and that's why I have always been so clear that we, we need to air this out. We, we cannot have Albertans rely on leaks and innuendos, uh, but we need to have all of those receipts and flight manifests and, and all of them reviewed, A, for accuracy and B, for what where they really used. Um, it's unfortunate, uh, there's no doubt about it. We've been asking those questions in the House and Minister Horner has assured us that the Finance and Treasury Board rules and regulations uh, are being followed and that they provide the, all the checks and balances to protect taxpayers. The Auditor General's report came out and said that that absolutely is not true. So either Minister Horner is completely incompetent or he's not telling the truth. Either way, he should not be the Minister of Finance and Treasury Board. After reviewing the Auditor General's report, I recommended to Premier Dave Hancock on Monday, August 4th, that it should be forwarded to the RCMP for their review and for any investigations that they consider appropriate. I'm pleased that he has accepted my recommendation. Today I instructed Tim Grant, Deputy Minister of Justice and Solicitor General, to deliver the report to the RCMP. This was done this morning shortly after the report was released by the Speaker to the Legislature. Alberta already has the most transparent travel expense reporting program in Canada, but there is more to do. That's why the government has accepted the Auditor General's recommendations. The, the policy uh, in terms of the usage, I mean common sense and reasonable judgment should apply in all decision making. Uh, Albertans expect reasonable judgments and they expect responsible people to make those common sense kinds of decisions. To suggest that no minister has paid the consequences on this is, is a little bit misleading because as we've seen, former Premier has paid considerable consequence for this politically and, and, uh, and with her family. So I would, I would suggest to you that there has been a significant political consequence. How do you justify the fact that either you didn't know about the personal and partisan use of these flights or, or, or didn't step in to stop the personal and partisan use of these flights? Well, if I didn't know, I couldn't step in to stop. But why didn't you know that? Because that's not what was on the manifest. And you've, you've seen the manifest in terms of where we're, we're going with these things. So now that in light of the AG report, do you feel duped? Do you feel, how are you feeling now that you know that this practice was happening and you didn't know? How bad? I'm very disappointed.